Welcome back. In this video, let's take a look at the different types of automated tests. Now it is essential to understand there are different types of tests and each type serves a different purpose. Typically, you come across three types of tests. Unit tests, integration tests, and end-to-end -end tests. With unit tests, the focus is on testing the individual building blocks of an application, such as a class or a function or a component. Each unit or building block as we call it is tested in isolation independent of other units. Any dependencies are mocked. Unit tests run in a short amount of time and make it very easy to pinpoint failures. They're also relatively easier to write and maintain. With integration tests, the focus is on testing a combination of units and ensuring they work together. Integration tests take longer than unit tests. With end-to-end -end tests, the focus is on testing the entire application flow and ensuring it works as designed from start to finish. This involves a real UI, a real backend database, real services, etc. End-to-end -end tests take the longest as they cover the most amount of code. Typically, end-to-end -end tests also have a cost implication as you interact with real APIs that may charge based on the number of requests. Now you might have a question, if there are different types of automated tests, what type of tests should we be writing? Well, it is not set in stone, but a good guideline to follow is the testing pyramid. The bulk of your tests are unit tests at the bottom of the pyramid. As you move up the pyramid, your tests get larger, but at the same time, the number of tests get smaller. The right mix, of course, depends on the nature of the project. Unit tests are the easiest to write and maintain, but end-to-end -end tests give you the most confidence as they closely resemble a user testing your application. Which brings us to the question, what sort of tests are we writing in the series? Well, that is where the philosophy of React Testing Library comes into picture. It says, the more your tests resemble the way your software is used, the more confidence they can give you. So the tests we are going to learn to write in the series strike a balance between unit tests in the sense they are at a component level and easy to write and maintain, and end-to-end -end tests in the sense they resemble the way a user would interact with the component. And this is really important to keep in mind. With React Testing Library, we are not concerned about the implementation details of a component. We are not testing how it is rendering text or how it is updating the state or how it is handling a click event. Instead, we are testing how the component behaves when a user interacts with it. To give you a very simple analogy, React Testing Library will not care if you add 4 plus 4 or 5 plus 3 to display the number 8. As long as the user sees 8, it has no problems. And because of this, any refactoring done to a component will not affect your test as long as the end result is the same. You could classify this as functional testing, but I wouldn't let terminology affect what you're about to learn. So to summarize, we have three types of tests, namely unit, integration, and end-to-end. React Testing Library strikes a balance between unit and end-to-end -end tests, which is what we will be learning in the rest of the series. If this is clear, join me in the next video where we will understand in very simple terms what exactly is a test in code. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.